There are days, and they don't come often, when the automotive world shifts on its axis. This, ladies and gentlemen, is one of them because the Veyron S reign as the world fastest production car is at an end, and the usurper comes from within. Yes, the 1.9 million pounds Chiron retains the Veyron S fundamental proportions and powertrain, but it s new in every other conceivable way, and built to bend physics to breaking point. The Chiron is not a hybrid. Unlike its closest competitors the McLaren P1, LaFerrari and Porsche 918, it relies solely on fossil fuels. Its engine is a development of the Veyron S8.0 liter quad turbo W16, its gearbox a strengthened version of the Veyron S7 speed twin clutch, and like the Veyron it deploys its immense power through all four wheels. If we went with hybrid we would have added additional weight. We would have experienced package constraints, too, because this car doesn't have any areas where you can put additional stuff. So the styling would need to change, comma Wolfgang Durheimer, Bugatti SCEO explained. We will dramatically raise the bar in terms of top speed, we will dramatically increase the power by 25%, the aerodynamics are better, the road holding is better. We didn't need a hybrid dot. Whereas the Veyron Super Sport produced a piffling 1183 bhp and 1106 pounds foot of torque. The Chiron develops 1479 bhp and 1180 pounds foot ho, and at a constant top speed the Veyron could drain its 100 liter fuel tank in 12 minutes, the Chiron can do it in 9. Then there is the top speed, which Bugatti has limited to 261 miles per hour, a token 3 miles per hour more than the Veyron Super Sport. Clearly this is a game of very senior numbers, so here is some more. It will accelerate from 0 to 62 miles per hour in less than 2.5 seconds, 0 to 124 miles per hour in less than 6.5 and 0 to 186 miles per hour in under 13.6. Take a moment to let that last one sink in. That is 2.9 seconds faster than a P1 and a second quicker than the Veyron Super Sport. Bearing in mind that at 186 miles per hour a second equals a lot of fresh air minus 83 meters of it to be precise. Then there is the top speed, which Bugatti has limited to 261 miles per hour, a token 3 miles per hour more than the Veyron Super Sport. The specially developed, wider Michelins can take more, Bugatti says, and will be used for a Chiron S record setting attempt which is expected to surpass 270 miles per hour, but the limiter is a safety measure for road travel. Your own camp will be delighted. Key to the engine's swollen power reserves are four larger turbos that work in tandem to deliver maximum torque from 2000 to 6000 revolutions per minute that s across 70% of the engine's full operating range. The two-stage system only calls on two turbos up to 3,800 revolutions per minute, to improve throttle response, and all four beyond that. A new titanium exhaust system helps out by reducing back pressure compared to the Veyron and houses two enormous catalytic converters each six times the size of one ULL find in Amandio. There are six exit pipes in total four sticking out the back and two pointing downwards to create a blown diffuser downforce boosting technology proven by, then subsequently banding F1. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe now.